In this short lecture, you'll be learning more about simple cubic crystal structures. More specifically, we're going to look at how we can derive the relationship between the unit cell length and the atomic radius for simple cubic structures. And also, we'll, also, we'll learn to calculate the atomic packing factor for simple cubic structures. So the simple cubic structure is one of the types of packaging that basic uh, cubic unit cells can have. The other, namely being face center cubic and also um, body center cubic. The unique thing about the simple cubic structure is that it's not a very common type of packaging. In fact, only one type of material is known to, to be in this type of packaging, and that's polonium. Um, the simple cubic structure essentially has only um, one complete atom within the unit cell. As you can see on the, uh, uh, on the picture on the right, you'll have eight corner atoms. Here you'll see that they're only eighths of an atom, one eighth, because they're shared with eight other unit cells. So the total number of atoms within this cubic cell is one. If you add up all the eight atoms and you multiply that by the eighths, it'll give you one. So how do we derive the relationship between the, the, the lattice parameter length and also the atomic radius. Well, this, for this example, it's actually fairly simple. Uh, what we'll see is, let's, let's look at the front uh, face of the unit cell. Now, if you were to project that and look at it from a, 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 a perpendicular to the surface, you'll see that these, it will look more like this. Okay. Now, the outline is the unit cell. The length of that, and because it's also cubic, the length of it is known by the, um, um, by the variable a, which we'll call the lattice parameter length. This length here is also a. Okay. Now, the radius of one of the atoms is equal to r. Okay. Now, one thing to note is here we have one radius of an atom, and here is another. What, you, what you'll see is that this is actually, the, the lattice parameter is actually equal to two of the radii. So, the relationship is this. The lattice parameter length is equal to two times the atomic radius of the atom. So now, let's calculate the atomic packing factor. So by definition, the atomic packing factor is equal to the total number, the total volume atoms within the unit cell, divided by the total unit cell volume. Okay. So we know since volume of a simple cubic unit cell is equal to the length cubed, meaning because it's the same length in, in three directions. Remember the the Lattice parameter length for, for this side is A, this side is A, and this side is A. So if you wanted to know the total volume, this is equal to the lattice parameter cubed. Now, next we'll look at the, the numerator. The, what is the volume of the atoms in the unit cell? So the, the first we need to look at, okay, what is the, how many atoms are actually within the unit cell? And as we talked about from before, the, there, there are eight corner atoms. However, each corner atom is shared with eight other um, unit cells. So it only has one eighth of an atom on each corner. So if you wanted to know the, to the total number of atoms, we first find out, okay, how many corner atoms there are.
then we have to divide or just multiply by the fraction of one eighth because each atom is shared between a total of eight unit cells. So here you get one total atom. Now, the question is, uh, is okay, what is the volume? Well, well first we need to understand that the, the, the atomic um, uh, radius or the volume of each atom can be treated like a sphere. So if you recall, the volume of this one sphere is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. Okay. So now we're, we're ready. So let's look at the definition for atomic packing factor. The atomic packing factor is equal to the volume of atoms in the unit cell. So we know that we have one atom. Okay. Then we multiply by the volume of each atom. The volume of each atom is, we said, for an atom of radius r. This is equal to pi r cubed. So that's the total volume of the atoms in the unit cell. Then we need to divide by the total unit cell volume, which we found from over here. The total volume is equal to A cubed. Now, typically, we should be able to get a ratio. Okay, the, the, the variable should cancel out. Well, if we remember from before, when we derived the lattice parameter uh, length to the radius, we found that the relationship is equal to A equals 2r. So what we could do is plug in uh, for one of the variables and in that way one of the variables will be canceled out. Let's say that a is equal to 2r, meaning the lattice parameter is equal to twice the atomic radius. So here we have one atom, 4 thirds pi r cubed, and then the lattice parameter cubed which is essentially 2r cubed. Okay. Now, if we simplify, the rest is just um, algebra. So we'll have 4 thirds. Let me just expand it out so you can see it. 4 thirds, um, um, 2 to the third r cubed. And here, what you'll see is that the r cubes cancel. OK, so let's simplify. The, the rest is just algebra. So let's try to, let's, let's try to simplify. As, we, as you see, the r cubed uh, variable is canceled out. So what we'll have is um, 4 over 4 pi over 3 times 2 cubed, which is the same thing as 8. Okay. We simplify this even further. Um, you get pi over 6, which is approximately equal to 0.52. So 0.52, or essentially what this says, if you multiply by 100, this is about, the, the atoms make up about 52% of the total volume of the unit cell.